Hi everyone. So today we're going to talk about how to file your bug uh, or your bug report to the bug tracker. And yeah, sometimes you may encounter um, an unwanted feature or you've been playing with the latest beat and you come across a bug that may have caused a crash or reset or freeze or something unexpected uh, the way the software behaves. In that case, you don't need to panic. You don't need to go straight away to the Facebook and start asking the questions. Um, I'll show you how to actually file uh, a bug bug report. So first of all, uh, normally when the magic queue runs, as soon as you close the software or you shut it uh, or the, it crashes or something like that, it creates automatic log report. So while you're using it's still logging the, um, the all the keystrokes, everything you're doing with the software. So we need that information to be sent to us along with your show file and maybe uh, a video file or a movie, a quick one, even using your phone, that will help to find the problem or a snapshot picture. So normally you have a full, uh, just a normal log file that's been reported. Sometimes in some cases, CAMSYS can ask you to send us extended log files. So what it is and how to find it. So if you go to setup hardware, you will find here an option says standard logging, say yes and extended logging says no. So all you have to do is double click and say yes for the extended logging as well. You don't need to use it all the time, but in some cases that extended logging will allow CAMSYS to actually find the error better because some of the things are not coming up in the standard logging because otherwise it's going to be too much information. Right, then what you need to do is, so let's imagine uh, you have a show file that is causing you trouble or you're coming across a bug in a certain function, make sure you have the save the latest show file. And then let's say if the you need you finished, you actually come across the bug, you can actually shut down the magic queue by pressing this button or if you're running on the on a console, I will show you separately how to do it on a console as well. But basically, you'll press setup, quit, and shut down the software. Or if it crashes, then the sh software will be shut down for you. After that, what you have to do is, is you have to open your, I'm using a Mac in my case, you have to open your finder. In the finder, you will see a folder called documents. So this is the user folder called documents. So in the documents folder, you'll find a folder called magic queue. So if you double click that folder, it will bring you all the different things here, all the different files and folders. So the stuff that the camps is actually needs is mainly in the log folder. So if you double click that, it will bring you all the logs of every time you, you opened and closed the magic queue, you have the log files. That's why I said extended logging is not always needed, but sometimes it is required to uh, in order to track uh, a bug that cannot be tracked with a normal standard logging. So you'll come here and you will see it brings you the, uh, the day of the week when uh, the logs been created like right now that I've closed. You see the dates been modified like right now and the log file. So all you have to do is you have to uh, click that and copy it in a separate place. Or if you're using a console, you will be, you should be able to copy that log file into the USB disk. I'll show you how to do it from the Magic Use software as well. But we basically need that latest log file or maybe a couple of latest log files. Then we will also need your latest show file. So if you look at date modified, this is my last show file, but this was the, the, the show file before that. So we will need you to save ideally SHW file, the extension SHW, or it could be SBK file as well. So you copy these two files, the so log and um, and the show file. After you do that, drop them somewhere and you can save them, for example, as a zip file anywhere. So after you do that, all you will have to do is you have to open your browser 
go into the campsislighting.com or you just type campsis.co.uk it will get you to the campsislighting.com so depending on which country you're contacting us from so if you're in US you will have the US location with the US number here if you are anywhere else in the world and you're not using VPN via US you should have the UK soft uh, UK website so then what you need to do is you press here free magic U software download it will take you straight away to this page magic U downloads if you scroll down, you're going to see all the latest, all the beta, later, uh, latest beta software. Then you're going to see your software change log. This is actually quite useful place when you want to see what's the latest things being added by MagicQ. You can see your uh, the log files in the PDF. The very same place you can actually request a head file. But for now, for time being, we just need to look at the bug tracker. So you click here and it takes you to the uh, back tracker. If you're not registered, then you have to register. It's going to take you a couple of minutes. Use your email and then you will be able to activate your account. So that will take you, as I said, uh, only a few minutes. And uh, from here, you have a different options. So what you need to do is you need to go to the report issue. So if you press view issues, you're going to see all the issues that's been that are currently in the back tracker. So they're all available. What you need to do is you need to press report issue. Okay. So when you're in the report issue, you need to make sure you're using the right, uh, the right um, OS. So in, in our case, if you're using a magic Q, uh, uh log files, you choose the magic Q personality library. You choose it from here, not from the quick Q, because quick Q, you will be basically logging into the wrong uh, forum. So here you choose the category you choose the correct category. If you're requesting a personality ahead, use the personality. Don't do anything here, just choose the personality. If you have, um, if you have say, a crush, all you have to do is you look at the options here. So category, you, you have to define what's happened. So if it was the, the magic you just crushed, if it was related to, let's say, the engine, of the magic queue, you choose the engine. If it was related, the bug relates to the hardware that you're using, say in particular, a specific console that is causing the trouble, you choose hardware. If you're choosing, if it was something to do with, uh, uh, with um, the menu, uh, a button on the menu, etc., that's a user interface. If it relates to the user interface on the uh, stadium uh, stadium range, range, which means let's say it's the MQ500. Then you use this. So try to find as close to description as possible. Don't uh, don't try to use let's say personality, and that actually relates to the crash, relates to the engine. So just to make it easier for 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 Campsys engineers to find the issue, use the correct category. Let's say engine. Then after that, you look at severity. So severity, it basically indicates for the for the campuses how how important not just for yourself but in general for everyone that issue is. So if it's the reset, it means the console crashes. So you press something and it resets itself, or the the software shuts down. That's a reset. So select it as a reset. So that means the when you what you're reporting is something that causes the console not to work stable. So that is very important. And when it's reset, the software engineers will see it straight away that it is a reset problem. That means it will have a slightly higher, of course, um, uh, the the priority. If you're looking at the major issue that stops show running, for example, you unable load show file, or you have a problems with the queues uh, or an effect, something is wrong with the playbacks not working, and something like that. That's also important. That is going to be called major. So if anything else, uh, anything small uh, or something that just annoys you that is not major that is not reset so i will i normally go through and i see when someone is putting the the wrong description i normally change them to the correct one because you need to understand the engineers have to look at the correct um uh, at the issue and have to give a priorities and 
what might be use what might be a huge priority for you might means that something bigger will have to be uh, slowed down so again please try to be reasonable about it and if it's a feature request just put a feature again engineers are looking at all the requests they are not discriminating any minor requests as well it is but if it's a feature ask the feature so let's say you had a problems with a, uh, the console reset it so you choose this priority you don't need to set as urgent, immediate, etc. That's going to be defined by an engineer. If you feel you can put it as higher, if it's like really big crash, yeah, you can. You feel free to put higher. But when you put reset, uh, the engineers will straight, straight uh, see it straight away that it is important. So again, that is important, but normally it can be set by engineers. Uh, I don't know. You, you might you might not have all the features that I have here, but this is what I'm showing from my side. So then you choose the platform where the problem uh, persisted. So if you think this is a, a global problem, let's say if you're reporting a minor issue with the um, um, uh, a user interface, etc., that probably uh, Type, uh, like that probably affects all the consoles, so you choose all the consoles. If it relates to a specific console that you're using right now, Pro 2014, or using MQ500, or using New 5070, choose the correct platform. That will narrow it down for the engineers that where to look for the problem and how to test it. After that, you choose the product version that where you experience the problem. Okay, if you're using a really old version, just uh, you're wasting your time update it to the latest stable or latest beta version and then report it again because uh, the engineers will not look at the very old uh, versions the versions below uh, the stable versions engineers will not look into them because uh, there's a lot of other fixes being done on the top of them so I always suggest you before you report everything test it on the latest stable or latest beta if possible then assign to you, you don't touch that that's going to be assigned by one of one of the engineers then the target version again you don't need to do it then summary and description and the upload files are re uh, the most important parts here so summary please just put describe the problem in as short as possible and as clear as possible i understand that english may not be the main language that you use but there is of course google translate etc Feel free to put there as you think, and ideally in English, because most of us, we, we speak English, some speak Russian, uh, we speak maybe a couple of other languages, but ideally it will be in English for the, as all engineers are English speaking. So primarily English speaking. So then you put the summary. So you put the summary here, and then you put a description. Again, try to describe as currently as clear as possible and with as many details as possible again this is needed to be able to investigate your problem as uh, to the best and uh, of our knowledge and uh, uh, as fast as possible the least the less information you give the less chances you're going to see it fixed quickly so uh, describe it as thoroughly as possible and ideally with the steps to recreate the problem that will help the uh, that will help engineers to do it as fast like they, that will help engineers to look into this and being able to reproduce faster than uh, it would normally take so this is description is very important and in the description if you think you need to add a picture or a video and video is always useful for almost any report that you can upload let's say oh I'm pressing this this and this is the problem that comes out because sometimes it's really hard for engineers to recreate the problem so when they see the problem on your video it helps them to actually uh, it actually it helps them to actually get to the bottom of the problem much faster so always if possible add a video upload it to YouTube make it unlisted so it's not going to be in the public uh, domain and, and and attach your uh, link here then upload the file so when you press upload file you can upload one file at a time uh, let's say with uh, uh, log files and show files so what you can do is if you can upload just one file it, let's say uh, if you upload a zip file that has a uh, log file and show file, perfect, it's one file. If you have multiple, all you have to do is you choose a file, you press it, choose your, let's say, log file, make it as a public 
uh, bug report and press report. As soon as you submit that report, it will come up here in the view issues. Let's say here. So after that, what you have to do is, let's say if you want to upload any additional files. So all you do is you come here in a personality. Uh, so you come here in the in any back you just reported and all you have to do is you have to choose upload additional file choose file choose let's say show file and press upload it will be added into the attached files and that's it so that's pretty much it just just do it this way and that will allow the engineers to actually find the issue much much faster than uh than just writing i had a crash and then you have to find it somehow. So this is one way. This is the best way to to uh, to report it to us. Uh, if you're using um, a console, if you're using a console and you would like to upload your uh, your log files, so this is how you have to do. Again, thanks for watching to this moment. I know it's taking a long time, but I was thinking to describe it once, and everyone will know. So you have to press setup. Let's say. Uh, you go to the file manager. In a USB drive, you have your USB stick, uh, USB attached, which is good. So what you have to do is you have to here press up folder because you're here in the show folder. Then you go to the log folder. When you're in the log folder, you can always say advanced view, and you press sort by date. So when you press sort by date, it actually makes the the log files for you uh, uh, according to your date. So this is what was right now, then the the previous one, then the previous one, etc., etc. So what you have to do is uh, you have to press copy, okay? Then you click on your log file. Let's say that log file. You see, it says now select a destination. So after that, you click on a USB drive and you go to the logs. Let's say I created the log and then you click anywhere on the screen on any of the files that you already have and it will be copied. For me, just much easier because you always have like a dot folder, a dot uh, file in every folder. You just click on this and it's going to be uh, it's going to be pasted here. So now you can see it's been pasted. You do the same thing with the show file. So if you go up, sorry, uh, so go back to setup, file manager. If you go to the, this is the show file. Again, you can see advanced view. You can see sort by date and uh, sort by date. Then you can press copy, copy the file, go to the USB drive, uh, USB drive, logs, and click again on even if you can click on this one and it's going to be copied ah sorry i copied the file ah yeah it's copied here now so you can see your sbk file and the log file so now you can take away your usb stick out plug it into your laptop and then upload it as per my previous uh, uh as per my previous explanation that's all i'm really sorry to to make it as uh, like as long as it is now but uh, thank you very much for your assistance to make the software better and I hope that video was useful for you. Thanks and have a nice day. Bye-bye.